time that I motivate you, right? So this morning, my motivation is going to start off one way because I have one thing I want to motivate you with and then I have something else I want to ease into, okay? So it's May. It is the fifth month of the year. Already, you guys, we're already finished with a quarter of this year. So my question to you is, All that smoke you blew up your ass in January, is you still doing it? It's a real question, though. But a lot of y'all in January, new, new year, new me. I'm going to do this. I'm about to wild out and do that. I'm about to, this, this is my year. So what are you doing for it to be your year? I'm just curious. Because... If you started the year off saying you gonna do something, we five months in. How many times you done did it? How many times you actually tried to fail? And I know somebody out there is gonna say, Sunshine, what do you mean you tried to fail? Well, you can't learn if you don't fail. If you don't try, you can't fail. So my question ain't, how many times have you succeeded? My question is, how many times have you failed? What's the perk? If you ain't out here doing it, but you talking about it, I don't want to hear what you have to say. Your words are empty. And I don't like empty words. I like things with substance, with meat on their bone. You keep the bones, give me the fat. So what are you doing? How many times have you ran up that hill? How many times have you spent more time with your kids? How many times have you worked on your book? How many times have you tried to be a better person? Have you looked at it intros introspectively? How many times have you reached out and put yourself in a position that you weren't in before that you were afraid to do? How many times did you put yourself first? How many times have you not lied to yourself because you lied to yourself at the beginning of the year and you said you were going to do this? You've had five months now. Please don't tell me when you're going to start. Tell me that you've started. I don't care if you failed in the process. I'm proud of you for failing. Because if you told me you failed and you're still doing it, God damn it, at least you're doing something. Y'all have watched me fail over and over and over and over again when it comes to this sound. I will never stop using this as my example. But I don't care what you say. If you listening to All Hustle No Fear right now, this music, this microphone, this mouth... It's never been better than what it sounds like right now. And I had to fail so many times to get here. What are you actually doing? What fire have you created from the smoke you blew up in your ass in January? That's my question. That's my question. Now, in January, I let y'all know that I don't really necessarily take January as my as my resurrection. Like, y'all, January for y'all is like a rebirth. My, my resurrection, my rebirth, my, my start over, my new time comes on October 20th. It comes on my birthday. That's the day where I say I've made it a whole full circle around the sun. What do I want to do? Wow! <laughs> I just had an aha moment. So two years ago on my birthday, I said I wanted to have a certain amount of money in my bank. Uh, I wanted to save a certain amount of money in my account two years ago. Because I, I remember this birthday. I remember writing this down. I remember the number that I wrote down. Two years ago, I said that... I wanted to A, have my passport, and B, I wanted to have a certain amount of money in my bank account and in my savings account. And as of right now, oh my God, I got to call my friend and tell her I really did it. As of right now, that amount that I said is not only in my bank account, but it's in two of my bank accounts. It's re it really is. It's in two of my bank accounts right now. 
Now, did it take a year for me to do it? No. When my birthday swung back around last year, uh, this year, on my birthday this year, I had not uh, accomplished it. I know I didn't because I remember feeling bad saying, it's okay, we're still going to work towards it. But here I am, a year and eight months. It didn't happen when I said it was going to happen, but I did accomplish it. It just took me a little bit longer than I thought, but I did accomplish it. Oh my God. That's so awesome. That's so awesome. Anyways, okay, so every year, and I need you guys to have these moments of wow, okay? Because I'm about to go celebrate for myself today because I'm really proud of myself with that. Y'all, for real, for real, not only did I achieve my goal in one account, but I've achieved that a goal in two accounts. And that's real talk. That's real talk. I'm really proud of myself. So, um, but um, the other thing is, is that on the first of the year, what I do is I come up with a word that I try to make sure that throughout the year, I hold on to that word and I reflect upon that word. So when I started doing this a couple of years ago, the first year, the first word that I had was commitment. Okay. And I, I, I made sure that every day, every month, every week, I was focused on this word and what this word meant to me. Here I am years later and i'm on episode 529 don't tell me about commitment i understand commitment i understand what it means to stay consistent with something and to stay committed to it and see it through the the good the bad the ugly y'all have watched me go through uh, multiple time slots y'all have watched me go through multiple co-hosts y'all have watched my y'all have watched my insecurity actually unfold and blossom on screen as I had to go from having someone in here with me all the time to not having anyone in here with me at all and I worked through whether you want to call it a failure or somebody else wants to call it a failure I worked through that problem I worked through that 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 mohill and I'm still here. Don't let your failures stop you. Embrace failure. Failure is not a bad word. Failure is not a negative word. Another year I had focus. I needed to focus on, on things that were important to me. I needed to focus on myself. I needed to focus on the people that I love. And I'm still working on that one. I'm still, I'm still growing and, and changing. So that word focus, what I want to focus on might not be the same thing that I want to focus on when I, when I use the word focus as my highlight word of the, of the year. This year, my word is perspective. Every day, I'm trying to find a different perspective upon whatever it is I'm encountering. Whether it's your perspective, my perspective, a more learned perspective, a perspective from wherever. I want to see different perspectives uh, or, or be able to open myself up. Because it's not just about the way I see the world. It's also about how other people see the world. It's about how I see the world after I've learned something, after I've failed uh, so many times. What is my perspective on this on 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 this uh, lesson? How how am I different? How am I going to react? Perspective is my word. I can't tell you what my word is going to be next year, but whatever it is. Or whatever your word is, if this is something that you've taken on because you've been watching All Hustle No Fear for the last five months. So in January when I told you this was my word. In January when I told y'all about the word prostitute and that we're going to proselytize all this year. You held on to that. I, that, that, is my, that is my hope. That is my goal. That is, that is my wish. Right? That, that we... We don't let go of what we said 
what we promised ourselves, whatever smoke we blew up our ass in January, we we are strong enough to hold on to that. We are disciplined enough to keep trying to materialize that, keep trying to make it happen. And we are patient enough with ourselves to understand that if it doesn't manifest in the amount of time that we gave ourselves, we're not going to stop trying to achieve the goal. It's not how long it took us to achieve the goal. It's that the goal was achieved. Alright, that's all I got. That's it. That's it. That's it. It left. It's gone. <sighs> alright, good morning. Hey, how y'all doing? Let's go check. The <laughs>